Today I'm going to show you the GPT-5 updates that just leaked, and they're absolutely incredible. We're talking about AI that can think, reason, and code better than anything we've ever seen. This isn't just another update, this is the biggest AI breakthrough in years. I've got the inside scoop on features that will blow your mind. Plus, I'll show you exactly how this changes everything for your business. Get ready, because what I'm about to reveal will shock you. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. And let me tell you something. What I'm about to share with you today is going to change everything you think you know about AI. We're talking about GPT-5 and the leaks that just came out are absolutely mind-blowing. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below and let me know what you think about these updates. So here's what happened. Just a few days ago, Tibor Blaho posted a screenshot on X that sent shockwaves through the AI community. The screenshot showed a configuration file dated July 13th, 2025, which mentions GPT-5 Reasoning Alpha. But that's not all. OpenAI is expected to release its next big model, GPT-5, in August, according to recent reports from Axios. We're talking about just weeks away now. Now, let me break down exactly what this means for you and why you need to pay attention. And before I dive deeper, if you want to start implementing AI automation in your business right now, you can get free access to our insert tool training inside the AI Success Lab. We have over 100 different AI use cases and step-by-step -step processes. The link is in the comments and description below. Let me tell you something that's going to blow your mind. The early test of feedback on GPT-5's coding abilities, one person said it was extremely positive. We're talking about AI that can understand your code better than most human developers. But that's just the beginning. Stick around because what I'm about to show you in the next few minutes will completely change how you think about AI forever. First, let's talk about what makes GPT-5 so different. GPT-5 is designed as an integrated model that can carry out various tasks from one demand. This is different from current GPT models where some are better for research, some for coding, and others for general purposes. Think about this for a second. Right now, you have to switch between different AI models depending on what you want to do, Need reasoning? You use O3. Want multimodal? You use GPT-40. But GPT-5? It does everything in one unified system. For the first time, GPT-5 integrates the classic GPT line with the logical reasoning capabilities of the O series, resulting in noticeable improvements, especially in programming tasks. And the early feedback is incredible. According to reports from the information, GPT-5 shows significantly improved programming skills, especially with complex realistic code in large software projects. Test to say, it outperforms Claude 4 Sonnet in head-to-head -head comparisons. But it's not just coding. GPT-5 shows higher performance in scientific disciplines such as mathematics, physics, and technical tasks, plus better creative expression, especially when writing texts and literary output. Here's something really cool. GPT-5 has dynamic thought control. It intelligently adjusts its computing power depending on the difficulty of the task, so it doesn't waste resources on simple questions, but really thinks hard on complex problems. It's wild watching people use ChatGPT, knowing what's coming, said an OpenAI insider. They know something we don't, and what's coming is about to make GPT-4 look like a toy. Let me paint you a picture of what GPT-5 can actually do, where GPT-4 might help you write a product update, GPT-5 could take your roadmap doc, populate Notion with tasks, send notifications to your team, and draft the newsletter, all from a single input. Now, let's dive into the technical stuff, but I'll keep it simple. The model being tested is called GPT-5, reasoning, alpha, 2025, 7, 13, with reasoning effort colon high. This tells us that reasoning is at the core of what GPT-5 does. GPT-5 is designed to handle multi-step logic and decision making more effectively. Instead of requiring separate models for different tasks, GPT-5 adapts dynamically, offering a more seamless experience. GPT-5 is set to push the boundaries of multimodal AI, offering support for inputs and outputs across text, images, audio, and potentially video. You could upload an image, get a detailed text report, and receive audio feedback all in one session. Now, here's where things get really crazy. Microsoft is already preparing for GPT-5. Microsoft is piloting a smart mode for Copilot that leverages GPT-5 to provide either quick replies or detailed analysis based on the complexity of the user's request. This means Microsoft knows GPT-5 is so powerful that they're building entire new interfaces around it. Think about what that means for productivity tools, for business automation, for everything. Let me share something that's going to change how you think about AI forever. We're moving from passive assistants to active agents. GPT-5 is expected to feature improved memory capabilities, allowing it to retain information across sessions more effectively. Additionally, the model is likely to integrate autonomous tools, allowing it to perform actions like scheduling tasks, 
retrieving external data, or executing commands without constant user input. Now, let me address something critical that just came out. Sam Altman himself just warned about a major privacy issue that most people don't know about. On Theo Vaughn's podcast, Altman revealed something shocking about ChatGPT conversations. People talk about the most personal stuff in their lives to ChatGPT. People use it, young people especially use it, as a therapist, a life coach, having these relationship problems and asking what should I do? Altman said, here's the problem. When you talk to a real therapist or doctor, there's legal confidentiality, but with ChatGPT, there's no such protection. If OpenAI gets subpoenaed in a lawsuit, they could be legally required to produce your conversations. I think that's very screwed up. I think we should have the same concept of privacy for your conversations with AI that we do with the therapist. Altman admitted, this is huge. It means every personal conversation you have with AI right now could potentially be used against you in court. That's something to seriously consider before you share sensitive information. But back to the exciting stuff. Here's what really excites me about GPT-5. I am excited to just get to GPT-5 and GPT-6, and I think that'll be easier for people to use, said Sam Altman. Even the CEO of OpenAI is excited about how much easier this is going to make AI for regular people. OpenAI aims to simplify interactions with GPT-5 by removing the need for a model selector. This change ensures that advanced features are accessible to all users, regardless of their technical expertise. No more confusion about which model to use. No more technical barriers. Just tell it what you want, and it figures out how to do it. And here's the timeline you need to know. CEO Sam Altman posted on X on July 19th that GPT-5 would be released soon. Then Altman appeared the July 23rd on Theo Von's podcast, no, where he praised the abilities of the new model. When the CEO is going uh, on podcasts to talk about how excited he is GPT about the new model, you know something big is coming. GPT-5 use really is already cropping up in the wild. Here. As testers get their hands on the code like, oh, and security man, experts do their red teaming, and additional signs quick, that the model is getting close to release. The fact that it's already being tested in real-world scenarios means we're in the final stages before launch. Let me share a reality check that's important to understand. When asked if GPT-5 will be another shockwave for the AI industry, an open AI researcher responded with, we will see and a wink emoji, which seems to suggest that it could be a really significant update. That wink emoji tells you everything you need to know. They know something big is coming. In addition to being better at coding and more powerful overall, GPT-5 is expected to combine the attributes of both traditional models and reasoning models such as O3. And here's the proof this is working. One person who has used GPT-5 says it performs better than Anthropic's Claude Sonnet 4 in head-to-head -head comparisons they've tested. That's huge because Claude Sonnet 4 is currently one of the best AI models available. GPT-5 achieves this through integration of language and reasoning models in a single system for more accurate and context-aware responses. This is the unification I was talking about earlier. One model that does everything and does it better than the competition. OpenAI is planning to launch GPT-5 with mini and nano versions that will also be available through its API. This means you'll be able to build GPT-5 into your own applications and services. Think about what that means for software companies, for service businesses, for anyone who wants to add AI capabilities to their offerings. And here's something that's going to impact every industry. Naturally, with all of these improvements, ChatGPT will also see improvements in its ability to create images and videos. We're talking about AI that can create any type of content you need, all from the same interface. Here's what I want you to take away from all of this. GPT-5 isn't just another AI update. It's a fundamental shift in how AI works and what it can do for your business. And here's the bottom line. Uh, if you're not preparing for this shift now, you're going to be left behind. The businesses that figure out how to leverage GPT-5 first are going to have an incredible competitive advantage. So what should you do right now? Start thinking about your processes. Start identifying the workflows in your business that could be automated. Start learning how to work with AI effectively. Because when GPT-5 launches, and it's launching soon, the game changes for everyone. Now, if you want to get ahead of this curve, I've got some resources that can help you. First, my AI Profit Boardroom is the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. We currently have over 1,000 members who are already implementing these strategies. If you want a custom strategy for your specific business, you can book a free SEO strategy session. The link is in the comments and description. And don't forget about that free insert tool training I mentioned earlier. Inside the AI Success Lab, we have step-by-step -step processes and over 100 different use cases that you can implement right now. We have 14,000 members because people know they're missing out if they're not part of something this big. The video notes from today's breakdown, along with all our other training materials, are available in the AI Success Lab. Links are in the comments and description. GPT-5 is coming. The question isn't whether it's going to change everything. It's whether you're going to be ready for it. Comment below and let me know what you're most excited about with GPT-5. 
And if you found this breakdown valuable, make sure to hit that subscribe button because the AI updates are coming fast and you don't want to miss any of them. Remember, Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you share your thoughts below. The AI revolution is here. Make sure you're on the winning side.